Pierre. Here is another one for you. Okay, Cruiser. Are you ready, Pierre? Okay, Jacques. What happened? This tree is going to be hard to cut. Look here, it's petrified. I have never seen a petrified pine. What is it doing here? I don't think there's much market for two by fours made of solid rock. Watch this. They look like some kind of Indian carvings. Wonder what they mean. If this is what I think it is, we stumbled on the secret of the Nootka. Jacques, good to hear from you. What's wrong? I have run into something really strange up here, mon ami. A stone tree. Sounds interesting. I just hope you're not getting rocks in your head. Hey, it's serious, Matt. The future of the Nootka Indians depends on us finding a second stone tree. Us? Is that an invitation? Could sure use your help. Then you've got it. Just think! In a few hours, we'll be in a real forest with thousands of trees. Big deal. I'd rather wait till Christmas when the department stores sell the pretty aluminum ones. Maybe Dad'll let us sleep outdoors under the stars. If you want to sleep under the stars, there's a real boring show at the planetarium. The lumber camp should be just around that bend. Hey, what's going on? Ah, uh, yes, oh, there she goes. All right, yeah, she's looking good now. That's the way. Yeah, look at them go, T-Bob. They're having some kind of race. All right, Dad. Uh, All right, uh, go yeah, get yeah, them. Yeah, you got yeah, that, yeah. that black box. Come on, you got them on now. Let's yeah. go. Hi, Jacques. Hi, Matt. Hi, Scott. And mon petit T-Bob. Bonjour. That was quite a performance. Well, when it comes to climbing trees, no one can beat Black Fox. I bet T-Bob can. Huh? We got a big competition here. T-Bob, it's easy. Look at his boots. See? They have spikes. Can T-Bob borrow them? Uh-uh. You're not getting me in spiked heels. Not without a matching handbag. Here's an extra pair. I think he'd make a fine lumberjack. Well, let's see which one is the tallest tree. Couldn't I practice first on a small tree? This is it. This is the one for you. Oh, I don't feel very good about this. Stop worrying. You'll be a smash hit. That's what I'm worried about. Get going. I'll time you. Then you'd better use a calendar. Not bad for a beginner. I'm surprised. T-Bob gets dizzy going up an escalator. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not too bad at this. I feel dizzy. T-Bob! Lucky this branch was here. Whoa! T-Bob, you okay? I think I've voided my warranty. I'm glad you're okay. You can have these spikes back, Jean. No, keep them as a souvenir. And here's a safety belt. Better late than never, I guess. I'll keep them close to my heart. I'm really glad you're all right. How about filling me in on this stone tree? Why don't you tell him? Black Fox is a member of the Nootka tribe. My people have a legend. Many harvests ago, when the buffalo were plenty, an ancient chief angered the gods. And so, to appease the gods, my ancestors carved a mighty totem pole, the color of the sun. According to the legend, it's a solid gold totem pole. Whoa. Little is known about the golden totem, except that it is hidden between two stone trees. And if we're going to find the totem, we have to find the second petrified tree. 
the other side of that rise is where we saw the petrified tree. What? What? What is that? The trees! We will be crashed! <laughs> Ancient gods must be trying to keep us away. Perhaps. Or maybe someone else gave them a helping hand. Sacre bleu! The stone tree! It's gone! And the other trees, it looks like they were uprooted. There's only one possible explanation. Whoever did this wanted to keep us from finding the precise location of the petrified tree. Matt, over here! Notice anything familiar on those trunks? Pitch marks. Compliments of the scorpion. Looks like Venom's here, and they've already won the first round. T-Bob, guess what? I'm not good at quizzes. Mayhem's here. Tell him I'm in conference. Don't be silly. We have to help Dad. Sorry, Scott. Oh? I asked Black Fox to take you back to the logging camp where it's safe. But... If you want, I'll show you how to make an Indian headdress. Okay. Maybe it'll come in handy for a school project. See you later, Dad. Okay, Scott. I just checked the trees. When we drove along the road, we hit a laser that triggered booby traps that caused the trees to fall. It's time to put together the mask team. Select the mask agents best suited for this mission. Jacques Lefleur, pre-selected. Brad Turner, occupation rock musician. Vehicle code name, Condor. Studies of Indian folklore could be an asset. Approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. Oh, it's This old Indian trail will lead us back to camp soon. Hope it's not much farther. I'm starting to get hungry. Mmm. Yo! The bear's looking for dinner, too. And we're the main course. Quick, take the lower trail. I'll hold him off. Ah! Oh. 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 I should have changed my oil. Scott, slow down. I think we're safe now. Yikes! Cancel that last order. Here he comes again. T-Bot, come on. There's a place to hide. Shaking hands with that fuzzy paw. Don't worry, he'll give up soon. Ah! Ah! You were saying. Ah! Hang on, T-Bob! Looks like we're about to become the main course. We should have checked to see if there was an emergency exit. Don't eat us. Oh, we're high in saturated fat. We're safe 
safe now. That's what you think. We're sinking. Hang on, T-Bob. What's that? All right, there's a raft. Grab it, T-Bob, before it gets away. Almost. Don't let me go. Ah, I've got it. Quick. Ah, my arms are giving. OK. We've made it. Whoa, what a day it's been. What? A hundred thousand bucks for all the information I gave you? Why don't you pay me what I'm worth? If I was gonna pay you what you're worth, I'd get change back from my dollar. Now get out of here. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of all of this. Ah. Your idea to have the computer translate the Indian drawings in the stone tree was pure brilliance. You have my admiration. Start to scan the forest. The second tree. Bruno, Dagger, prepare to rendezvous. Spectrum alone doesn't have the range to cover the entire forest. We'll split up and search separately. Ready in volcano van? All set to erupt. We'll be safe here. Finally, dry land. Now I know how Christopher Columbus felt. Huh? Wow, it's venom. Let's check it out. No way, Scott. Forget it. You want to get back on the raft and go through another rinse cycle? Lead on. Hurry, T-Bob. I'm coming. There's nothing here but a pile of old logs. That's where we'll find the golden totem. Start digging. You expect me to dig around in that garbage pile? You should feel right at home. How dare you question Mayhem's order? The man is a tactical genius. Shut up, Gory. Did you hear that? I was praising your genius and Bruno said to shut up. Why the nerve of- Shut up! Contact Dad. Give me your radio. Okay. Dad, it's me, Scott. Dad, can you hear me? Scott, what are you doing? Where are you? We found Venom. They're near the north side of the river. And... Scott, get out of there right away. But... I'm bringing the team, and I don't want you to get hurt. And don't use the radio anymore, okay? We'll do. Over and out. Now we better get out of here. But if we try to sneak away... Venom might see us. You better radio him back then. But he said not to. Mm, then it looks like we're up a tree. We can't go anywhere. T-Bob, that's it. That's it? Defense mode. All set. All set. The radar's picking up Mask. What? Hmm, Mask. Coming to interrupt. Prepare for a fight. I'm glad you kept that safety belt with spikes. I guarantee you won't fall again. Why? Did you make me some special arrangement with Sir Isaac Newton? This is good right here, T-Bob. Wow, look what a great view. And we don't have to worry about being seen up here. Dyer, wait until they're in range, then attack. Gory, jam Thunderhawk's control system. What do you want me to do? Keep digging. I want the golden totem pole. 
Now for my jamming beam. Fire! A jamming beam? Gory thinks he's pretty hot stuff. Well, I know how to turn the heat on him. This missile will follow the beam straight to him. That must be a missile and it's following the jamming beam. I must turn it off. What the? Whoa! Yeah, yeah. We've been hit! Help! They're getting close and I don't have the golden totem yet. Look, T-Bob. There's Jackhammer. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. Now to set a little trap. What's he doing? Whoa! He noticed us! No, he hasn't. Hmm. There! Now I camouflage it and the trap is set. We gotta do something, T-Bob. Dagger is gonna ambush Jacques. But what can we do? He's a sitting duck for you, T-Bob. Huh? What do you mean? What I mean is... You're going to stop him. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! I don't believe it. Dagger jumps for joy to see me. Now to find out what's going on. Wait for me, T-Bob! I told you that I didn't like this. T-Bob, you're a hero! That's a bad habit I'm going to have to break. There's our raft. I'd rather be on it. I found it! The gold totem! Marvelous! An irreplaceable example of Native American folk art. I can't wait to melt it down. I'll check its purity. What? It's not gold at all. It's amber. It's worthless. Yow! Ah! We're getting out of here. Fred, I've spotted mayhem. 10-4, I'll be right there. Thunderhawk. Ah. Ah, I'll divert his attention. This'll keep him busy. Ah, that looks like... Scott! T-Bomb! Huh? What is that? Yo! Oh, no! Yikes! Where's Venom? Forget Venom. Get Scott and T-Bob. Whoa! T-Bob! This'll be the end of the hero! Hey, grab this rope. It's Black Fox. We're safe! Thanks, Black Fox. Black Fox caught himself a prize catch. It's worth admiring. That was close. I'm glad I was able to track you two. Oh, oh! oh no! Oh, help me! Wow, it's his turn now. I'll get you, Black Fox. Grab this. Too bad it isn't gold, huh? To my tribe, it is far more precious than gold. It is our heritage. We shall be eternally grateful to you. Hey, that face looks just like T-Bob. Huh? Does it? I'd climb up and take a closer look, but uh, I left my spikes with Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> done with my mask. How do you like it, T-Bob? Mm, not bad. I like it. Hey, how about mine? T-Bob? Take it off, T-Bob. Wh what are you doing? Plastic bags are not toys, T-Bob. You could suffocate in there. Oh, my. Did I scare you? You left me breathless. <laughs>